Hello, I am Seema and welcome to part 15 of the chapter Chemical Kinetics. We were discussing the temperature dependence of rates of reactions and in that we did the Arrhenius equation. Based on that, I am now going to explain to you two solved examples and two numerical problems that are solved examples. This first question is question 4.10. It is a solved example of your NCRT textbook. The question reads, the rate constants of a reaction at 500 Kelvin and 700 Kelvin are 0.02 per second and 0.07 per second respectively. You have to calculate the values of Ea and A. According to Arrhenius equation, rate constant K is equal to into e to the power minus Ea upon Rt, if you remember this. As I explained to you in the previous video, that when we have a chemical reaction which is uh, whose readings we take at temperature T1 and T2, the rate constants would become K1 and K2 and then taking log on both sides and subtracting one equation from the other, we get a modified version of this Arrhenius equation. And what is that? That is log K2 upon K1 is equal to Ea upon 2.303 R T2 minus T1 upon T1 T2. So this is the version of the equation that you will find. So we'll be using this version in this equation to find out the value of Ea. And since this does not, this equation does not have A because A is uh, fixed for a particular reaction and therefore when we subtract these two equations if you do not understand what I am telling you I would encourage you to watch the previous video. So the value of A is not there in this equation therefore in order to find that out once we calculate the value of Ea we can calculate the value of A from by substituting the value of Ea in this equation and temperature in this equation. So let us start what all is given to us <coughs> we have T1 T1 is 500 Kelvin, T2 is 700 Kelvin, right? K1, the rate constants are also given to us. For T1, the rate constant is 0 0.02 per second. And K2, rate constant for 700 Kelvin is 0 0.07 per second. Now, having this information and having the value of R, let us find out log K2 log of k2 what is k2 k2 is 0 0.07 upon k1 is 0 0.02 the units will be cancelled is equal to ea upon 2.303 into r is 8.314 joule per kelvin per mole into T2, T2 is uh, 700 minus 500 upon 500 into 700, right? Now when you get all of this, when you calculate log 0 0.07 upon 0 0.02, you get the value, let me just bring it up here. You get 0 0.544, 0 0.544 would be equal to Ea and now you'll get if you solve all of this in the numerator part and the denominator part in the numerator you get 19.5.714 into 10 to the power minus 4 and in the denominator you get 19.15 right from this now you can calculate Ea Ea therefore would be equal to to get Ea, you bring all of this to this side. So 5.7, 0 0.544 remains as such. This comes down upon 5.714 into 10 to the power minus 4 and into 19.15. And when you solve this, you'll get the value of Ea, which will be equal to 18230, 18230.8 joules right now this is the value of ea uh, that you get 
And now having got the value of EA, you need to find out the value of A. So to find out the value of A, we know that there are two, K is equal to AE to the power of minus EA upon RT. So let us take one of the temperatures T1, at that temperature T1, K would be K1 and then apply this equation. So let's say K1 is equal to A into E to the power minus EA upon R T1. Now substitute the values. K1, what is K1? Is 0 0.02 per second is equal to A into E to the power of minus EA is 18230.8 joule. Right? Upon R is 8.314 joule per Kelvin per mole into T1, what is the temperature? That is 500 Kelvin, 500 K. Now take a look, the joule and joule will get cancelled, per Kelvin and Kelvin will get cancelled, you'll be left with per mole here, right? And from this, when you solve all of this, you'll get the value of, you can calculate the value of A. So when you solve this, you get 0 0.02, so A would be equal to 0 0.02 and when you solve all of this, it comes out to be upon 0 0.012, which is equal to 1.61. I now wrote down the next question, but before I explain this, there's one point that I'd like to clarify again, which I missed in the previous question. When we found out the value of, when we were calculating the value of A, and we used K1, that was 0 0.02, is equal to, there's one mistake that I made here. I wrote the, the value for EA only in joules, and that is what was given in the book also. But the value of A should have the units of K, because if you remember the log of A, when you uh, plot a graph, it forms an intercept. And on the uh, line, on the axis, y-axis, which has the value of K. Therefore, it should have the units also of k, which is per second. Therefore, uh, all these units should get cancelled. And since this is joules per mole, joule and joule will get cancelled. Kel per Kelvin and Kelvin will get cancelled. Per mole and per mole will get cancelled. Then when you calculate the value of a is equal to 0 0.02 per second upon 0 0.012, then you'll get the answer in per second. So the value of A, although it is known as the Arrhenius uh, 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 factor, we do not write the unit for it, but actually it should have the unit of K, that is per second. And that is how you would get the right unit and know that you plugged in the right values. So this is something that was necessary to clarify. And now I'll proceed to the next question. Let me just get ready for it. All right. Now this is question 4.11. This reads, the first order rate constant for the decomposition of ethyl iodide by the reaction C2H5I gives ethene, that is C2H4 plus HI, at 600 Kelvin is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 5 per second. Its EA activation energy is 209 kilojoules per mole. You have to calculate the rate constant of the reaction at 700 Kelvin. Let us first see what all is given to us. It is a first order reaction. For the decomposition of ethyl iodide, the reaction is given and T1 is equal to 600 Kelvin. And the rate constant K1 is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 5 per second, right? It's EA, EA is given to you, which is 209 kilojoules per mole. Now this can be equal to if you write it in joules per mole, would be 209 multiplied by 1000, 1003 more zeros, joules per mole, right? That is EA, we'd be using this one. And the value of T2 is given to us, T2 is equal to 700 Kelvin. So now what are you supposed to do? You have to calculate the rate constant of the reaction at 700 Kelvin, which means K2 is asked, right? So let us write the equation once again. 
uh, and now instead of writing log k2 upon k1 log k2 upon k1 means nothing but log k2 minus log k1 so let us write it in that form so log k2 minus log k1 why because we want to find out log k2 and from log k2 we need to find out k2 so log k1 is equal to 2.3 ea ea upon 2.303 r 1 upon t1 minus 1 upon t2 that's the equation so let us just solve it using this so log k2 from this would become equal to ea or we can write log we can take log k1 here and then add it to the other side since it's it has a negative sign here so we say it will be equal to log k1 plus ea upon 2.303 r 1 upon t1 minus 1 upon t2 now substitute all the values when you substitute all the values what will you get log log 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 5 per second is k1 so per second would uh, is only uh, is only the unit so you have to find only the log of the numerical value plus ea upon 2.303 and what is the value of ea sorry we knew the value of ea ea is equal to 209 209 000 joules per mole and 2.303 into r is 8.314 joules per mole per kelvin into 1 upon what is t1 600 minus 1 upon 700 right and now when you solve all of this you will get the value of you will get log k2 would be equal to log of this is minus 4.796 into 2.599 now when you solve all of this you get 2.599 which is equal to minus 2.19 7. So when you find the log of K2 is this, therefore K2 would be anti-log of this. So K2 therefore would be equal to, when you find out the anti-log of it, would be 6.36 into 10 to the power minus 3 per second. So that is how you would solve these problems based on the Arrhenius equation. With this, I'll wind up this video and in the next video, we'll proceed to the next topic. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, recommend it to your friends and please keep returning for more videos in chemistry. Thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.